I think one of the big misnomers in golf with changing grips was how many times do I play a year? And what golfers need to take in consideration when they're changing their grips is not only how many times a year they're playing golf, but how many times a year they're practicing. If you go out to the range and you're hitting a bucket of balls, you're going to have 70 to 90 balls in that bucket. Well, that constitutes a round of golf. So if a player is playing, let's say, 25, 30, 50 times a year and practicing, I'm going to recommend that he changes his grips once a year. Maximum, if he's playing a little bit less, maybe practicing a little bit less, maximum I would, I would suggest to go without changing your grips is every two years. When you finally notice that the grip is becoming a little bit slick, the grip is wearing down, it's becoming shiny, or one day you're going to go out in the golf course and you're going to figure out, wow, my hand pressure is pretty, is pretty tight on that golf club. That's a first indication that your grips are becoming worn because hand pressure is really a killer when it comes to swinging the golf club.